So have you tried installing um, uh, the VM in your machine? Uh, no, actually. Oh, okay. 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 That is some, uh, something I need to do on my laptop. So, oh, okay. uh, how much that uh, uh, and even uh, how much size that is actually the Teradata Express and these things? Uh, I think the Express will come around uh, 40 GB of uh, 40 GB. Yeah. Oh, okay. The, okay. the max, max space. Uh, yeah, but here in disk it is showing to be 27. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, maybe in that case I need to put, uh, I am just connecting to my cellular network. Uh -huh, okay. okay so, so it might take so much much time. Uh, so Yeah, it, it, it's around three, three. No, no, the entire uh, uh, VM you're asking? Uh, for downloading uh, from Teradata. Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, okay. So that will come around, I think, uh, 3.85 GB. Okay, okay. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah. Okay. And on uh, this VM again, it will, uh, it will take around some 600, yeah, 615 MB. No problem. Okay, fine. Okay, then I'll just keep that uh, for download. Okay. Yeah, okay. Okay. So maybe you can have this download manager or something installed. So in case if any interruption in between it doesn't get failed. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, is that issue resolved yesterday? Some uh, uh, something related to that uh, speed connecting to viewpoint or studio? Viewpoint. Yeah, yeah, viewpoint. Yeah, speed is okay now, but uh, this viewpoint alone is taking some time. Uh, okay. So I triggered it earlier today around. Uh, 545 something I take it, but it's still coming up. So, <coughs> uh, some more time. Uh, actually, one yeah. question I would uh, check with you, like mm -hmm. morning also will be free, like uh, shall, if some days, uh, shall we uh, go one hour? Okay. So I'm in uh, 24 past seven, right? So this oh, week okay. I'm, I'm in evening shift and okay. next week it's it's a night shift. So maybe uh, uh, this week and next week after that, I think uh, we can we can check to that. Okay, okay. Okay, no issue, no, I just check with you. Okay. Yeah. Okay, no issue, yeah. No, because uh, I think uh, maybe this one hour uh, if you're not covering no so we can finish finish uh, things quickly so uh, i thought that be, okay no uh, issue yeah we we can uh, no try to connect on weekend if possible uh, okay fine if you have uh, adequate time we can plan for that okay yeah yeah no okay. no okay. okay. so, so coming to the uh, skewness, right? Uh, mm -hmm. So uh, a table, a database is said to be skewed uh, when the data distribution is not uh, you know, uh, even, even. So we saw earlier like how, uh, you know, hard time situation, right? Like where the data gets stored in one of the app. Uh, so the parallel processing won't be happening in the case of uh, skewness, if you have the skewness. Oh, okay, okay. Ha, 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 ha. Because because only one amp will be uh, no, working and fetching all the data and the other amps will be uh, idle. And also uh, the skewed data, right? 
so we know like when we assign a permanent space to a database suppose uh, we create a new database and we assign a space to that so in that case um, uh, will be uh, the the space we, which we are providing will be distributed among all the amps right so we have okay. uh, 100 gb of data and we have 10 amps then each amp will have 10 gb of data so whatever correct, correct. table stored it will be distributed among the space yeah. So in, in the case of skewness, right, what will happen as only one amp or uh, no few amps are working. Uh, so mm -hmm. let's consider here to be a one amp operation. So if one amp is working and um, the spool, right, like um, uh, the available space remaining, it's, it's, mm -hmm. it's not there, right? So in that case, what will happen? Uh, it will throw you the no more spool space. So uh, this occurs in the production environment mostly. So even your, uh, though your uh, database on a whole contains the available space. If you check the database space or this space, right? It will show you like only 10% is uh, utilized. But when you go and check on an amp level, right? Then you can mm -hmm. see like uh, the amp is almost full. That's why it's failing. Okay, okay. Uh -huh. So, so the first thing we need to check uh, is on the uh, physical data model where they decide on the PA. So whenever, uh, no. Now you are saying um, yeah. a spool issue or it's a, a perm issue, like uh, no room in database, it will come. Mm, mm, yeah, both will come. Like uh, if you are inserting, then no room in database will come. So if mm -hmm. you are if you are fetching some data from from the amp, right, and there won't oh, be okay. any, any free space available in the amp to perform the data, right? For this. Oh, okay, okay. Ha, so ha, in, ha, that, ha. in that case, it will it will throw the no more school space. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Because the data the data has to be distributed among other amps right but in this case since the data is duplicated it will be only circulating with with the same app the, the same amp will store the spool right so that's why that's the reason okay okay uh -huh. so for this uh, situation right like uh, mainly we need to uh, check for the physical data model where this pa is uh, no or uh, selected so we need to check like if any uh, you know uh, non unique um, data is having columns or selected as pi mm -hmm. uh, so even uh, you know in the etl uh, loads right i have seen cases where uh, uh, the total elapsed time would be reduced uh, to almost 50% or even 25% when we have this uh, you no know, proper PA, so that that okay. data, data is distributed evenly, then we'll have the parallelism of the profile. Yeah, so this is uh, one of the query through which you can check the skewness of a table or a database. I think we can't copy here, right? Okay, yeah, we can't copy. Just need to make some change. There's something paste is available. Ah, that's what I have. We sure. need to add one, um, uh, one, one tool for uh, no allowing from the host window. It has been more than ten years. <laughs> I have been using this. So I just forgot forgot which tool is that. That's what I'm looking okay. for. There is one um, option which we need to enable. Mm -hmm. No, but uh, copy of paste option was enabled. I think just tried that. Uh, 
Ah, uh, no, I played already. Yeah, it's not uh, working. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. Okay. Not along. It's, uh, yeah. Okay. Okay, well, yeah, check that option. Yeah. You know, this viewpoint is taking time. Maybe I will check. Yeah. I think at the VM settings, uh, it's there, no? Not here. Uh, where? Like, Not here. V yeah. VM, VM level, VM level. Yeah, this is the VM level setting. No, TD, no, not this one, I think. Uh, what is that? Uh, VM, VM okay. where? Here you mean in the settings? Uh, there is a v, VM where setting might be, might be available. Uh, no, I, earlier, right in the previous versions, uh, we had some um add-on kind of thing so we, we need to if we need to copy any mm -hmm. binaries or something we need to add that so i'm not sure in this version like what changes there add add, add 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 below is there uh, option to add uh no no add, that 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 add is for adding uh adding any features like hard disk uh -huh, uh -huh, okay, uh -huh. hard work kind of things Mm -hmm. Okay, what is there in options? Options, the uh, same one here on. Options. Snapshots, something or guest isolation, the auto log. VMC, okay. Okay, it's not the no problem. I will check to that option. Like, uh, what is that? Okay. Okay, maybe you can just try the e thing. Yeah, I will. I will just try to yeah, type, okay. type this one. Yeah, we. Yeah, that query we can run it later. Yeah, you can go with that. Uh, that okay. Uh, I I just want to thought of showing you that. Uh, most tuners like how it's stored in the amp, uh, how we can. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. Let me do one thing. Just give me a second. Let me. Connect. Try connect your email here. Try to send it to your email from here, and uh, access your email from VM so that you uh, get that query. Yeah, but. Uh, internet right it's it's not working here in this vm <laughs> mm -hmm. okay okay just give me a second let me try another thing Logging into my meeting edition. 
do we have a passcode here for the meeting? Uh, passcode, huh? Hey, yeah. Just trying to log in from one now. minute. Okay, passcode. Yeah, passcode is Z ZKP. Okay, uh, is that caps? Is that all small? Uh, yeah, small, small case. Okay, ZKP. Nine. Nine. Um, there is last two characters ZT that is in upper case. Okay, nine ZT. Okay. Nine ZT. meeting is being recorded okay and uh, uh, let me put this uh, session on mute i will you know i will uh, just connect from the, the other machine so i can show you the real enrollment okay no i'm just i'm just connecting uh, from no, other machine. just give me a second one second Okay, okay, fine. Okay, the host. Uh, okay, I'm the host here, right? Like I can. Uh, you are able to hear me now, right? Ah, uh, yes, yeah, when I can hear you. Okay, let me. Uh... Uh, Manjunath, is my audible? Am I audible now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You are connecting to one more VM. Uh, okay, you are connecting uh, through the VM uh, inside. Hello, Manjunath. Yeah, can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, I can hear you. Okay. Meanwhile, you are able to see my screen too, right? yeah 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 okay so so this is the you know viewpoint uh the real real time and drama okay this okay. is how we monitor the system uh -huh. so as you can see here right so th this this will show you about the health system health uh you no know, how the system is how much is the cpu uh -huh. How much is the amp of worker as AWT will which will be you know, seeing in upcoming classes and how much is the IO? Okay, okay. Okay. And then uh, here in this query monitor, we'll be monitoring you no know, the ongoing queries like uh, so these are some other parameters like uh, session ID, username, and the mm -hmm. state gives you, you know how much hours this query is in, in in this state like if you see the state here uh it's 
it's active this this symbol denotes the query is active so this query is active for last 12 minutes here right and this is the request cpu how much uh, this particular query is taking and the overall cpu percentage how much it's three percent three point five percent and the current spool you see here that it's taking around uh, 527 gb or spool and this pgi mm -hmm. it's for the product join uh, or you can call it as cartesian join one-to-one -one join right so this index mm -hmm. uh, will show you like how much uh, pj this query is taking so the um, a recommended PJs should be less than five. So whatever goes more than five, it will hamper the system. So, so these are some other parameters like a request CPU, total duration and PJA and spool. So all these we need to monitor. Okay. Uh, you are able to hear me, right? Yes, yes, I can hear you. Okay, okay, right. So this is again, uh, if you go inside the, the session, right, it will give you, uh, you know, what is the SQL uh, and then they explain and uh -huh. currently which step this explain is running. So those kind of details. Uh -huh. you can see. And uh, apart from that, uh, we have a rewind option also in case if you just put a rewind on and you select uh, a time like uh, one hour before how was the system right it, it it's like it will show you the you know uh, real time uh, data like in, oh. around 5 a.m how the system was what are the queries running so you can you can uh, troubleshoot from here mm -hmm. okay and apart from this query monitor is the main tool through which uh, uh, we monitor the system so this is uh, this is very helpful so uh, here we can navigate between the systems and also uh, you can navigate by the you know session or uh, uh, session excluding the utilities utilities here is fast load multi load those kind of uh -huh. things or you can even do it by user so these are the users currently logged in so 10 is active and 26 is ideal means they are not running anything they just connected connection is still there but they are not running anything okay and, uh -huh. and then uh, we can Check the VB proc. So if you see here, uh, these are the PEs in the in the environment, and you can see how many you no know, uh, session each P is holding. And uh, no, okay. the CPU uh, for the PEs. You can see here this particular P is highly utilized. Right, and then we can navigate into that P and see what, what are the particular jobs which is running inside this P. So this kind of details uh, we can check to granular level. And also you can okay. check the utilities. So utilities again here is, uh, you know, the, uh, fast load, multi load, yeah. So currently only export is running. So we see uh, only export here. Okay. Right. So this is again by amps. You can see the skewed amp here. So if you can see, uh, amp number one forty five, right? Like gone. So amp seventy one is skewed around twenty five uh cpu so which means uh the query running here this query so okay, this amp level okay this yeah. means 
This is not permanent, right? This will be temporary, right? This queueness. Yes. Whatever yes, it's yes. shown. Yes, yes. Until it fetches the data, it will be temporary. Uh -huh. Yeah, it, it will keep on fluctuating. Like once the job is done, the skewness will be gone, right? Okay, okay. Ha, 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 ha. Yeah. So this is uh, So these are various uh, no, uh, pages you can create um, for remote console or uh, those kind of details. So okay. you, can, you can create a new page right, by clicking on this plus button and you can give some name, whatever needed. And then you can add the content here. Right, if we go and see here, uh, you can see whatever, uh, like the different, um, no, uh, different, uh, what to say, portlets available. So these are called as portlets. So okay. we were seeing about the query monitor, right? So likewise, you can see uh -huh. the node resources and then um, and data mover you were asking, right? We can add the, the two and then okay. uh, service health productivity so these are some of the basic uh, no these things will uh, uh, be there and uh, we need to drag them into our profile or how exactly yeah are you need whatever access you have been granted right what are the portals you are allowed to view if you click on uh, no that plus symbol it will be showing here so from that you can select an app okay how to uh, say for example if some user asks uh, I, I need this kind of uh, thing yeah. uh, in a viewpoint means how can i enable for that user all all those things uh okay so if we go here and the setting... he asks for query monitoring or something like he asks like data labs all right and uh, okay so and if, you, if you can see uh no if we go to the settings here and then the user manager uh -huh. so here you can control all the users okay uh -huh. user details so no, that's okay but uh, uh -huh. no not like that i'm saying okay say your your profile is created right viewpoint right. profile yes so that's what i'm showing if you go to the roles right there, there will be certain uh -huh. roles created Oh, so okay, okay. Huh. You need to assign that roles to this uh, user. Like, you need to select oh, and okay. then. Fine, fine. Okay. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay, then that that uh, thing will be enabled for that user correct, in viewpoint. Correct, correct. Yes, yes. Oh, okay, so, fine. I got it. Uh -huh. Right. So depending on uh, what is the role you have been granted, there will be limitation in the uh, portlet also. So oh, okay. whatever portlet if you, if you want, you can add it from here. Like I will show you the productivity, system health and the... Uh, remote console yeah okay so you can see these portals are added right you can see here this this is the system health and i was talking about where you can click and see what is the current status right how much uh -huh. cpu username uh, all these things And uh, going back uh, to the node, you can see like how many nodes are active and how many standby. So you have uh, six active and three standby. Okay, okay. Uh -huh. Okay, so total nine nodes. So in case if anything goes down, it will be showing here as down. So you can also see that. 
and this remote console right it, it it will be useful while you know connect with the system for any of these uh, utilities like uh, these are the different utilities uh, now available in teradata like um, dbs control where you need to change the configuration uh, of the system of the database ferret ferret is a utility where i will be running most of the control uh, we will be having a, a detailed uh, okay view when we see about this uh, cylinders and tracks those kind of blocks and those thing all right uh, so log display this will show you what are the current logs if you have any uh, no uh, present in the system and show logs will give you if any hurt logs are present in the database level due to backup failures or any running backups and there's up, update space you can you no know, use to so sometime um, the users right they may face issues uh, you no know, while uh, coding the uh, you no know, tables or something where we call, we called as uh, no uh, ghost or spool so in that case we can update the spool using this remote console and update space uh, okay okay uh -huh. yeah I think it's disabled here. I think a viewpoint has on ability to access all and uh, the whole warehouse and uh, control all aspects, right? I think. Yes. So mostly we will be communicating uh, to the system through viewpoint and then the uh, you know, SQL assistant or uh, the. Is there, is there anything? Uh, uh running query option is also there in the viewpoint yes we can do that okay um, uh -huh. we okay. can do that we can show you that So SQL scratch part, this is the one. Oh, okay, okay. Ha, ha, ha. So which you need to select the system. So from here you can run the queries. <laughs> Just run. Yeah. Okay, okay, fine. Right. I got it. Okay. Right. So I was uh, talking about this QNAS drawing. So this is maybe we can finish off this viewpoint like uh, so uh, you need to know anything else from the viewpoint so i can show you now uh, uh no okay but uh we need to go to detail for viewpoint later okay uh maybe we can cover it today like uh we cover this query monitor right this query monitor it should be okay now right so uh -huh. you have any doubt in this query monitor any option so various modes we saw here, like uh, by user utility. Maybe one one thing we will go separately. So because uh, uh, this is very much essential, I think. Right, that's what. Okay, so uh, maybe you can explain. Like you, you can just uh, explain. Yeah, uh, you were telling something that that uh, skewness as you want to run the query, right? You can run it uh you want to run it here or what exactly yeah we can we can run it here i can show you the only thing is this is the the client system right so i i won't be able to you know uh, share share the details yeah correct okay okay fine then stop it and you can just go over there 
uh, no problem. Let me show you uh, this uh, skewness alone. So I think I okay. Yeah. It somewhere. So at uh, this video alone, uh, just keep it uh, uh, personal. So just don't share it uh -huh. due to complaints, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Okay, I don't have, maybe I have it in. Uh, okay, then stop it, no? Stop it then. No, no connect there only. No problem. Because this VM which we already have, uh, no, it's this viewpoint was a little slow. That's why I thought why to waste time. And I just jumped in here to show you. I, I wanted to show you this, the real time, how, how it is and what we do. So that is another uh -huh. case. Right. So we'll show you one more thing here. Okay, so uh, you can see here, right? This is this sp space usage. So we can monitor the, the space, you uh, know, by database wise. And uh, mm -hmm. okay, so to select. You can filter it out uh, like whatever database you need. Right, and then uh, you can you can uh, no know, check the objects uh, like what are the tables under this and even here you will be able to see the skewness skew person so since since this is a view it's not showing up uh -huh. uh, maybe I'll show you something else this for dbc yeah, you can see here, right? It's something 15 in something 15 is there, no yeah, access rights. Access rights. So earlier we were discussing, right? So whatever we grant directly, so no. it will be loaded in the access rights, the rights which is directly granted except from roles. So if you can see uh -huh. here, this is 59% means uh, it, it, it's actually not a good sign. Uh, we need to clean up some you know, old uh, rights we need to do some DBC cleanup in this table. Oh, okay, okay. Uh -huh. okay. So this is the skewed person, like uh, 59 person, this, uh, this table is skewed. So data in this table is skewed by 59 person. So if, you, if it's a physical table, right? Physical table, I will show you. Okay, we see here, right? So some some tables are highly skewed, right? Ninety nine percent skewed, and um, it's having the current perm as thirty MB, which means uh, uh, this table is highly skewed, and we need to check. So mostly, uh, when the size is less, right, and the skewness is high, we won't be facing any issues, but when this table started growing, then in that case, it will be a impact on the system. Okay, okay. Uh -huh. So, I will, I will run this query and I will show you. I think I have that. Uh,
So this is the query which I was showing you. So okay. we need to, you know, if you want to uh, do it on a database level, right? So let me show you what we saw here. Let's take that as an example. The database name is uh, PRD. Okay, let me run this. Okay, the same uh, same result which we saw through the viewpoint we are getting here, right? You can see this. Uh, okay, one of the table is 99% secure. 99%, yes. So. Uh -huh. So this is the table. So, so which means the PA is not proper on this table, right? So we need to correct that uh, to have it uh, equally distributed. Okay, correct. But if it is on a system tables, then uh, we cannot do anything, right? We need to just uh, remove the older rows, no? There correct. is something like access rights. Yes, it was. System. System table, we can't do anything. Mm -hmm. So this is one more query where we can you know, see. Okay, so these are the uh, VPROX, the AMPs, right? So these are the AMPs mm -hmm. and uh, each uh, AMP is, uh, you know, distributed with the, uh, with the with the space which we have given. If you see, everything will be, uh, you know, identical because the space is distributed among all these AMPs. And if you can see, uh, there will be a difference in the current perm, which means each AMP um, it's not having the same data, right? So if you want to check the skewness in this database, right? So what you can do is you can just you no know, sort it out like uh, the max to mean, okay? And you can see uh, this vproc like amp number one one three that is in the top followed by eighty eight, right? Uh -huh. So, which means these amps are skewed, okay, uh, from the from from top to bottom. So, uh, if you see, and, ba how, and based on which factor you are saying that it is skewed, the cur current perm uh, means. I, I mean, I'm not saying it's totally skewed. I'm just telling if you want to investigate, right? In case if there is uh -huh. a failure, not in this case. I'm just showing you. Okay, okay. This is not exactly skewed, but I'm showing, I'm telling you like how we will identify the skewed database from uh, from the AMP level. Okay. So it, suppose if you see this, you know, uh, 3, 800 or something uh, in one particular AMP, then you can uh, be sure like this AMP is causing the issue with uh, you know, skewness. But here it's not the case. Uh, you can see like the minimum and maximum doesn't have much difference right so this is good okay okay uh, you got that right what i mean to say so what we did is we from the disk space we selected the database and we saw how the distribution is among the amps different amps got it Okay, that uh, VPROC 113 is the number now, actually. Yes, the uh, AMP number. Okay, okay, fine. This 1914 and these are all the size which is currently size. occupying. Yes, these are the size in uh, bytes, yes. But looking at the size, how can we come to 
conclusion if it is nearing to a peak perm we can say that right that is skewed um uh, yeah we can say see, see uh, uh in case no, if, if you do if you yeah. if you do uh if you just check the value current perm and peak perm of this query mm -hmm. uh so some something will find out no so that is based on the per that you are saying that percentage correct uh, correct yeah yeah that that's yeah that's uh okay you you are saying what exactly uh I'm, I'm giving the step to you no know, figure out figure out like which amp is Q. Suppose uh, I'm just mm -hmm. showing you, like uh, you're facing issue like uh, though you have given 100 GB of space like the scenario which we discussed earlier. Mm -hmm. So you have given 100 GB of space. Uh, still uh, user is facing issue on this database to insert, right? Okay. Okay, in that case, what you'll do, you'll do a select on this space to check mm. where it is queued, right? So that was our showing. Okay, okay. <laughs> right? So yeah, can... but we cannot come to conclusion like which one is queued right here. Yeah, we can actually see if, if the current perm is almost equal to this max perm, you can... Oh, correct. Not peak start. per max perm. Correct, correct. Uh -huh. okay. Yeah. So in that case, there is no space in the particular RAM. Correct. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. 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 Correct. So we can decide from that. And. Uh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, this is uh, this this happens in the production. So I'm just uh, not letting you know like how to troubleshoot these kind of issues. And also, uh, if you want to give a uh, you know, check for a particular table, you can add a table name in this, in this query and you can mm -hmm. get that. Right. In case we want to do it. Okay, so we'll get like whatever required on it, like what what table we are facing the issue, you can check from here. Okay, okay. And So this thing, right, it, it will be pretty hard to understand. Might be once you troubleshoot for one of the issue, right? So you will understand. Okay, okay. Ha, ha, ha. And even for me, first time, it, it would be. Uh, this, we, you, you won't be you know, seeing anywhere else, like uh, online or something. So this is what something we need to uh no work and see so from my experience i'm letting you know this okay okay yeah so uh, again okay we saw about the database units right so now uh, yes. we found this table is skewed correct it's 99 percent skewed okay yeah right on this database so we need to see where it is skewed. so in that case we'll go to this dbc dot table size Okay, where we'll give the database name and table name. And if you run the, it will give you the output. Like uh, you can see the difference, right? If, uh, if you can see here, it's all same. Yeah, yeah. If we yeah. sort it out from top to bottom, we can see in this, in this uh, four amps only, the data is queued, right? Oh, okay, okay, <laughs> okay, okay. okay. So the data is distributed mostly among these uh, four um, amps only because of the duplication. So what we need to do next is we need to go in the table and we need to check the PA and we need to check the 
uh, no that uh, column level, row level data like which which um, no which uh, data is causing the skewness so mostly we okay. won't be able to do anything with the data as a dba but we can you know rearrange the columns we can check the unique columns and we can recommend that okay yeah yeah, yeah. okay so just make a note of this like uh, these two steps so it will be helpful when you, you know, work on the skewness or when you're, okay. when you're working on you know, troubleshooting the um, no more spool or usually no more spool we won't be directly coming into the um, this space or something first we will check the query level right if any joins product mm -hmm. joins are happening but uh, the scenario which I told, like where you have plenty of space, but still we get the no more room in database error. In that case, we need to identify the you know, issue. So this is how okay. they will do it. So any doubt in skewness? Uh, no. No, right, okay. So this is fine. Maybe I will, I will add this. Uh, also in the um, PowerPoint slide, okay. Okay, okay. Yeah. And uh, viewpoint uh, portlet, uh, we have seen this space, query monitor. So apart from that, uh, node, node, node also we saw, right? Node monitoring. Let me know, let me open this here. So node resources we saw and um, productivity health check space usage system health so this productivity i didn't show at home right so let me open that also so this is this is the you no know, productivity of the system like how it is if you see the black here it means system is very busy right mm -hmm. so we can go back and check like uh, we can rewind on and then go back to that particular timestamp and see what are the queries running and why system was uh, no busy. So we can identify the queries which is causing the issue also. So this is the this is about the productivity portlet. Okay, okay. Uh -huh. So productivity is uh, no. System health visa. Today's statistics, uh, it will whole it will consider today's uh, stat oh statistics in terms of uh, you uh, system. This one you mean to say? Not today's today. statistics is there no something. Uh -huh. Today's statistics, yeah, okay. No, there before below system health that is there. The first ah, so column, this, first this column. One, one. Okay, okay. Yes, 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 correct. Yeah, this will give you like, uh, you know, the you know, active sessions, uh, total CPU. Oh, okay, okay. Uh -huh. Just the system uh, statistics for, uh, you know, comparison, like how it was same period one week ago. Suppose you're facing a no, slowness during a bad job, badge win, batch window, right? During ATL window. So you can see like what is what is increasing, like whether CPU is increasing or uh, whether it's uh, no IO, which is causing the slowness, right? So you can compare likewise. Okay, okay.